So, who do you start as in Football Manager 2017? I don't know, but what I can do is I can run you down and I can give you as much information as I can about all the teams in the Premier League and how you start off. So we're going to run down through the transfer budgets. That's the, that's the one thing everyone wants to know, isn't it? Let's be, let's be serious. What are the starting transfer budgets for the team that I want to pick? So I'm going to show you all the transfer budgets, basically. So we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to head all the way up to the top. There's a couple of surprises right at the top. So we got one, two, three, four. The top five, you wouldn't really... You wouldn't really think the top five this year in Football Manager would be the top five that are on my list here, but here goes anyway. So we're going to start with Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough are at the very bottom of the transfer pot. They've only got four million to spend. Um, so if that's what you want to do, that would be a great little challenge. Here's your squad. So you start off with Callum Chambers on loan, for example, who's a great little player. And this guy here is a quite a good attacking Winger, so it's, it's a very good little team. It'd be a great little challenge. I personally always like to start off as a, as a little bit of a lesser team. It's, it's quite boring going to big boys all the time. So next up, we're going to go for number two on the list, which, surprise, surprise, is another little minnow, Bournemouth, doing great things down on the south coast there, but on a string budget, a shoe string, excuse me. So Eddie Howe is a great little manager and how he's managed to bring this team with just a, such a small budget, 6.4 million. So we'll have a little look at his squad there. Obviously, you've got Jack Wilshire on loan, which is absolutely incredible. Who knows how they got managed to get him. Lewis Cook as well has great potential. He's got great potential as a um, young English centre midfielder. So next up the list, we are going to a club which have just moved stadiums, West Ham. They just moved into the Olympic Stadium. We have a little look at their transfer budget here, 7.4 million. The squad is the squad. So Lanzini is great. Payet is great. We know what we're dealing with there as far as West Ham is concerned. Next up, Hull. Um, they are in financial... Well, are they in financial difficulty or is the board just a little bit tight? Who knows, but 8 million they're starting with, 8.5. So it's not too bad. Again, looking at the squad, they have got some quality in the in the squad, to be honest with you, but um, Abel Hernandez was really good um, back in the day on this game, so I don't know if he's only going, maybe, he, he used to be a bit of a wonder kid, to be honest, but uh, not anymore. Hull, great team though, great history. Right, so next up, we've got the boys from Stoke. No one likes going to Stoke on a rainy day, but... With a little war chest of 9.5 million, you might be able to do great things. So I have a little look at the squad here. Shakiri is a magician. Everybody knows that. And they've obviously got the hero that is Joey Allen. Next up, after Stoke, we have Watford, another London club, recently promoted from the championship. Their transfer budget is 11.2 million pounds. So they've got quite a little bit of money to play with, really. And when you've got people like Troy Deeney on your side... It's, it's a good place to start off, really. His leadership is through the roof there, you can see. So next up, we're going to go for Burnley. Burnley's next on the list. Burnley's got £11.9 million to spend. Boom, boom, boom. Again, got some great players. Michael Keane, I think, will probably be the top. Yeah, he's a great little centre-back. Great potential, so you can build your team around this guy, to be honest with you. Next, after Burnley is a team from the northeast, Sunderland. You never expect Sunderland to have a lot of cash. They never really do have a lot of cash to play with. So we have a look here. 12 million. Nice round figure. Squad does need an overhaul though. You've got Adnan Yanazai on loan, who's a great little player. You've got Jermaine Defoe up front who can score goals. He's a natural goal scorer. But uh, that team will need investment, mark my words. Next up, London club, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, you'll be starting off with £15.4 million, pounds, which is a decent amount of money, considering you've got a lot of solid players Crystal Palace. You've got Ben Teke, you've got Mandana, you've got Johan Kabay. I mean, Crystal Palace would be a great club to start off at. Next up, we've got a Midlands club, West Brom. There aren't many Midlands clubs left in the league, I suppose. Well, I suppose you can count Leicester as a Midlands club. But uh, here... These little bad boys have got 17.8 million to spend. So that's a big jump from uh, from 11 we were talking about just now to 17.8. Uh, so they've got a good little bit to spend. Again, you probably have to spend it as well. Berahino, 
still good on this game. And uh, you've got quite a solid defence. Ben Foster's a great goalkeeper. You've got Johnny Evans. Is he still any good? He's he's 28 years old. Yeah, he's, he's a great defender. So, yeah, good solid team. Next up, then, we'll go Leicester, the champions of the league. We'll uh, have a little look at their budget. Their budget is 17.9. And when you consider that they're champions of the league, that's not a lot. But hopefully they'll have a great little squad. Like you've got Jamie Vardy starts off through the roof there. And uh, Mares will obviously be the same. Yeah, Mares has gone up ridiculously compared to the last game. So that's great news for Leicester fans. Anybody who wants to start at Leicester, try and retain the league. Great little challenge. Um, then a big jump then to the South Wales Giants that are Swansea. 29.5 million pounds you'll be playing with. It's a great little sum of money to invest in this team. You've got people like Guilty Sigurdsson in the squad. You can score free kicks, free kicks, rather. Um, yeah, so it'll be a great little team to manage. Next up is a little bit of a surprise that they're so low on the list. Man City. Man City have only got 36 million to play with. I mean, Pep Guardiola, what's he going to do with that? I mean, but you've got great players, obviously, at City. You've got Aguero, you've got De Bruyne. Do you even need any money? I would say, no, you should be winning the league without spending a bloody Penny, to be quite honest with you. Next up, another Manchester club. Can you believe it? Manchester United don't get in the top five. Might be something to do with the fact that they've got a hell of a squad already. Paul Pogba's potential is, well, as, as good as you can get, to be honest with you. His stats are through the roof. If we have a little luck, they've only got 41 million to spend. I say only. It's still a lot of money. You've got a lot of talent in the squad. Do you let go of Wayne Rooney? That's a question that I'll leave up to you. Next, then, some might be surprised by this, but we have got Southampton, a great little club on the south coast of England, and they have a £42.4 million to spend, which is it's a, it's a great little um, incentive to go Southampton. Southampton have always been a good team to start with in the recent games. I mean, you've got people like Walt Prowse, who's got great potential. They are a bit of a feeder club at the moment, Southampton, they churning out these great players and selling them on so that's where your 42 million pounds is coming from i would have thought top five it's top five time right top five everton bang everton a fifth they got 50 million pounds to spend i think they've had a takeover which explains that they've invested money into the squad you might see it something happening with the stadium a great club always been a great club to start with challenging usually because of their financial constraints and the size of the stadium but Great little team, great little team to go, and it's great to see him in the top five as far as spending is concerned this season. Next up, Chelsea. Chelsea are fourth on the list this year, £51 million to spend. Some might say the squad needs a little bit of an overhaul. Um, it's probably not the top, top squad in the league, like say a Man City or maybe a Man United is, but you've got people like Eden Hazard. You just bought Kante from Lesser, who's a great defensive midfielder. So, and with £50 million, pounds, £51 million, pounds, you should be doing great things if you choose to manage Chelsea. Top three, we've got the Liverpudlians themselves, the Scousers, £62 million pound to spend. Continue investing in the squad, you've got some great players, you've got Philip Coutinho. Liverpool have got such great potential in this game, especially when you consider the amount of money you can spend on this already pretty decent squad. No prizes then for guessing the top two. First up is Tottenham. Spurs are second as far as transfer budget goes. Their spending power is huge. You've got 67 million. You've got a squad which is bursting with talent, bursting with potential. You finished second in the league last year. If you're any good at football manager, you should be able to beast the Premier League with Tottenham and 67 million pound the same can be said with Arsenal Arsenal are the biggest have the biggest wallets this season in football manager 2017 67 million pounds top of the Christmas tree today and obviously you've got a lot of talent in that squad as well if you invest it wisely like some might say Arsene Wenger doesn't if you invest this 67 million pound wisely you should be absolutely dominating 
the league. You've got a lot of good teams to play against Man City's and your Man United's, but you've got a huge war chest and you've got a talented squad. You should have no problems at all. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more great content coming too. And see you soon.